Honeybees are really important for us, for our way of life. Um, they're important because they collect honey and we've got a $100 million honey industry here. But more than that, they're absolutely vital for pollination. And most of what we go and buy in the supermarket in the way of fruit or vegetables um, is only there because honeybees have been there to pollinate things, to spread pollen around from male to female parts on flowers. Without them, um, we'd have a major problem. And the real issue around all of this is that what we're doing with honeybees at the moment is not sustainable. And mainly because of this varomite that we've got in New Zealand. And what it means is that honeybees can no longer survive without human beings. If we're not there to treat these um, varroa, to kill them, then most of the honeybee colonies in New Zealand would die and the pollination would go with them. And the problem is we do have treatments, but we know varroa is building resistance to them and they do it has all over the world. And it's going to get progressively harder to keep bees alive, which puts the pollination issue more at risk. What we're doing here at Plant and Food is two things. We're trying to find new and better ways of controlling varroa to make it more sustainable, but we're also trying to improve pollination. Um, there's lots of improvements we can make to make it more reliable, more robust, and to get much better results from it. Pollination is really important globally. Um, everybody, every, every country's production relies on getting a really good service from its pollinators and getting pollination sorted. For growers, it's kind of different. There's been this tendency just to go and hire beehives and bring them in, close your eyes and hope they do the job. But to get the sort of production levels we need to get in modern agriculture these days, that's not enough. Growers have to be much better educated and also be managing the systems much better um, to get the optimum out, out of them, assessing what their pollination's like, assessing what the yield's like, and then making appropriate management decisions around it. Um, some examples, we're working on artificial pollination, um, so it really cuts the bees out completely. We're looking at other insects, um, and at the moment we're working on bumblebees, to, so we've got something to replace honeybees if we need to. And bumblebees have the advantage that they're, if you can work it right, they're free, and they will also forage in, in, during rain, which honeybees won't, and they're much better pollinators um, in that process. So having two insects um, is much better than having one because there's much less risks. And we've also got a third project looking at uh, New Zealand solitary bees, which are, again, another possibility for adding on to what honeybees are doing.